Hey everyone, it's Ethan the Artisan here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my LEGO Spider-Man mock. I know the trailer just dropped, and I am beyond excited for the movie. So, I decided to make a scene from the trailer. So, without any further ado, let's go and dive right into this video. So, I first started by looking up some reference images, and I found the exact place I wanted to recreate. So, I grabbed my thinking cap and turned on my Ethan Tingle and let the creativity begin. So, I first grab a buttload of plates and I place them in this pattern. After that, I place some snot bricks on the sides, and I get some black plates, tiles, and bricks, and these slopes, and I connect all the parts together to create this mighty fine border. Then, you'll never guess what I do add some black tiles to the top. But you're probably like, bro, there's a hole in the middle. And that's where the Ethan Tingle comes in. But I'll show what I'm doing later. I then build this little piece that looks like a Y, because why not? And I slide it right in this little hole that I made. And after all of that, the foundation is all good. Next, I grab these super cool light bricks and I make this little thing between them. Then I had these blue Technic parts, shove them inside this little hole and I add some cheese slopes to the end as well. I add a crap ton more of parts on each side and then we place what we have on the foundation. And man, it is looking spicy. And now it's time for some super cool rock work. I grab some plates and slopes and basically build a textured floor. I lied. Because of my super cool Ethan Tingle, I'm able to use the studs not on top technique and basically make a vertical wall, which is super cool for rock work. After that, I finish the sides and now it is time for the top. I start by grabbing some light bluish gray parts and then I make this trans clear orange circle. Then I let it grow from there using parts such as headlight bricks, brick bricks, and ingots to create some savage detail. After a little bit of time, I round out the platform with slopes and I also add some round tiles. And then I place the platform on top. I then build Mr. Doctor's weird cereal bowl and now it is time for the scariest part the pillars. I looked around for a little bit and I found the perfect part, the hinge parts. This was my first try with building these pillars and it blew me away with how awesome they look. I then placed down the minifigures and I built these little fire rings that took forever to place. After placing the fire rings, I then get distracted and I build this Mandalorian mock. I then push this little button to turn on the lights and now the mock is complete. And here it is, my Lego Spider-Man mock. You can see that there is a ton of detail on this little platform. And I also really like these pillars right here. And one of my favorite parts about this mock is the fire rings. These are just super cool. You can see the bottom with all that side rock work. And these two little rocks and the black platform on the bottom. So I hope you guys enjoyed the mock. It was super fun to build. Uh, and I am very proud of how it looks. Uh, especially with the light bricks inside. I think that was really cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.